Hello everyone, my name is Łukasz Pyrzyk and today I'd like to show you how to add a custom a rule that will fail your build when there is a missing configure await on your await statement. Imagine an application that you received or that you have been assigned to. Your role is to add a missing configure await to all await statements inside your client library. Why? Uh, you discover or there is a requirement to do that because there is some application that we is going to use your library and this application has a synchronization context. When it exists in .NET application you should add a configure wait false because without it your application may cause a dev dog. How to attack this problem? Imagine a client like this where you need to add the missing configure await. You can approach this uh, task in very different ways. The easiest one would be just to select a wait uh, space, search across the application, and see in how many places the await statement is missing. You may say, okay, it's missing here, it's missing here, but I'm not interested in benchmark and readme and the client sample. I will just go directly to the client. Okay, this is the project that I need to do. So here I typing configure await false. After doing that, you need to jump to another uh, another missing configure wait, add it here, and do it in the same way with different missing uh, lines. I think there is a better approach to do it. For example, I've decided to use a custom analyzer. Uh, let me check out the branch. I've installed a custom analyzer from FXCOP. It's called Microsoft.CodeAnalysis.FUScope.Analyzers. I've put it version to the directory build.targets. So here you see I'm using version 2.9.8. With this analyzer, I'm just rebuilding the application one, one, or two, one more time. And my missing configure away statement should be locked here. Yeah, not this one. And as you can see, we have a warning called CA2007, which says that consider calling configure wait on the weighted task. Yeah, so now we have a warning. We don't need to uh, search for the missing statement manually. And we are happy. We are just adding more configure weights, rebuilding. It works. When you, when you are done, you can commit this change and make sure that application is working correctly. However, this approach is quite risky because there is a chance that you miss one warning because as you can see, you may not have more of them, like hundreds of them. In this very old project, I have 35. There's also a risk that some new developer will come into the project. He will add new await statement like here, simple task delay, which will be awaited. He won't see the warning and he won't see that uh, issue in the code review and this single await can cause a deadlock, in theory. There is a better way to do it. For example, one of the modern approach is to do it by editor config. Let's create a new editor config in the root of the repository. It is a file that guides you through the rules of your coding styles, like camel case, pascal case, warning suggestions. And here you can manipulate warnings and messages and change their visibility, their visibility level. For example, under C sharp formatting rules, you may add a new line saying that you would like to change .NET diagnostics and now dot number of the warnings it will be CA2007 dot severity and you set it to error. When you save this file and rebuild the application again, you will see a little bit change behavior. Right now all of your warning are, became an error. So now you are forced to add configure await in the single project where the analyzer is referenced. If you would like to spread this uh, setting, for example, to the core, just install analyzer to the core project. With very simple analyzer, which we introduced in two minutes, we are able and we are sure that uh, we won't miss any single uh, await statement and we won't introduce it or we won't introduce missing await statement in the future. So I hope you really enjoy it. You can change separate levels of different warnings to the lower or to the higher, depending on your need. I hope you like it. See you next time.